Another day, another game that doesn't work on the latest Windows 11. Warbreeds is a real-time strategy game that was released to mixed reviews back in 1998, but according to one person on the internet, is a lovely mess. Regardless of whether you like the game or have even heard of it, there's a poor soul on the GOG forums who cannot get it to work on Windows 11. So let's see if we can help them out. Ok, I'm going to part with £5 sterling and see what's up. It seems to start fine under a Windows 10 VM, but on my host machine, running Windows 11 24H2, I just get a blank screen, followed by Windows timing out the process. My initial thought is that this game might be getting stuck in some sort of setup or infinite loop, as it doesn't actually crash, it just fails to respond as soon as it started. In fact, this is easily verifiable. If we spin the game up under a debugger, then it never crashes. Let's fire up the game under Procmon and run both OS versions side by side to see if they're diverging. They both start off very similar, and if we scroll down a bit, we can see they load a bunch of OG files from a music directory. It tries to load 100 files numbered 00 to 99, and it seems to load the first 15 fine, and this makes sense as that's how many files are in the directory. After this we see a divergence. Windows 10 loads more libraries, and Windows 11 does some stuff with the registry, so it's probably worth a gander. Procmon gives us the call stack for these calls, and they're not actually coming from the game, but from inmm.dll. If we look at the game executable, we can see this in the import directory. What this means is that when the game loads, it will first load these libraries. InMM.dll must then be loading these files as part of its initialization. If this is the issue, then it would line up with what we saw earlier, which is the game getting stuck as soon as it started. Opening that library up in Ghidra and searching for strings, we can see a format string for loading trackx.og files. I run both through side by side comparing stack state, function arguments, and return values, and they both seem to be doing the same thing. I also ended up at the game's entry point on both OS's, so this seems like a dead end to me. If we keep running both side by side to the entry point, it does some simple passing of the command line arguments, and then calls this function. On Windows 10, everything starts as normal, but on Windows 11, it hangs. So the issue is somewhere in here. Through a very painful process of stepping through, hitting a freezing function, restarting and stepping on, we can start to trace our way to the issue. On the way I found this function call that takes a single argument to some global data that's different on both, but apart from that, both OS's seem to do the same thing. And finally, it gets stuck in load library when trying to load ddraw.dll. Let's take a step back here. Load library is the Win32 API for loading a DLL file into a running process, and ddraw.dll is the Win32 library for accelerated 2D rendering. From the Wikipedia page, we can see that the compatibility for the library in newer versions of Windows has been deteriorating, and it suggests several replacements. There actually already is a ddraw.dll that's shipped with the game, and if we open it in CFF Explorer, we get the GitHub address and the version number, so I'm assuming GOG ships this with their release. This project wraps vanilla ddraw.dll and fixes any problematic calls. It works because the game loads the library as an unqualified path. Windows will first look in the current directory for DLL with that name before going out to the system. Looking at the releases of the compatibility library, and the one shipped with the game is nearly two years old. Let's just download the latest version. Ok, that seemed to work. I've popped a message over in the forums and let GOG know about this simple fix. But I'm still curious why it didn't work. What changed in the latest version of Windows that broke loading this library? Let's step through ddraw.dll. When you build a shared library on Windows, you can supply a dll main function, which load library will automatically call for you as part of the loading process. So if the call to load library is freezing, then the problem is likely in the dll main of the library it's trying to load. We can find this function in Ghidra and then set a breakpoint on it in the debugger, so now when we continue from the load library call, we stop at dll main. From here, we just need to grind out the problem function, so run till we freeze, reset, step in, and continue. The offending function is debug create, another win32 function, this time in the dbgeng.dll. This in turn calls debug create x, and it's completely different between Windows 10 and Windows 11. So now all we need to do is pull apart another Windows library. Stepping through Microsoft's code, trying to figure out what changed, even though I've already got a fix. What am I doing with my life? 
OK, on Windows 11, we end up at this infinite loop. It's basically doing an atomic read and loops whilst that value is zero, so effectively a spin lock. Now just above this code it does a create thread, and if we look at the function it spins up, then it sets this flag. It actually sets this to the result of current thread ID, so it's probably signalling that the thread has been created. What's interesting is that if I set a breakpoint on the function the thread executes, it's never hit, but create thread returns the valid thread handle. So as far as the caller is concerned, the thread starts normally and then it enters the spin lock, but the thread function never starts, which means it can never set that flag, so it's deadlocked. This is the cause of the game failing to start, but what is going on? Is this really a bug in Windows? Well, this blog post from Raymond Chen in 2007 explains the issue. Calls to DLL main are serialized, only one is executed at a time. When you create a new thread, it will signal all the loaded libraries via its DLL main. Only once these have all been handled will the thread function actually execute. Now we're in a DLL main from ddraw.dll, so only once we've finished completing can we then respond to the new thread signal and then allow the thread function to execute. However, our current DLL main actually waits for the flag to be set by the thread, which won't happen until it's finished running, therefore we deadlock. It's funny that this blog post explicitly calls out this situation and side effect 18 years ago. I quickly knocked up a proof of concept in C++ that does the same thing, calls debug create from a DLL main, and sure enough it deadlocks on Windows 11, but not on Windows 10. So I went back to the compatibility library and I stepped through the subsequent versions to find out where it was fixed. The next version almost got it right, but with monochrome vision, and then the second iteration fixed it. So the library itself handled this issue by just removing the dependency on dbgeng.dll. Let's take a quick look at the Windows 10 version of the library. By matching some strings, I think this is the equivalent function, and it looks like the whole create thread and spin lock code was added in Windows 11, which explains why it wasn't an issue till now. Now whose fault is this? Arguably Windows knows it shouldn't be creating threads from DLL main, but it was the compatibility library that actually called this code from a DLL main. Whilst you mull that over, you might be interested in how I fixed a 25-year-old bug that was triggered by Windows 11 here. 